ladies and gents. Lately I've been doing some real short videos because I've been working on quite a few things. The first thing I need to let all of you know is those of you who have mortgages, I've been trying to yell this out, scream this, shout it, so that everybody understands what's going on and people are not getting it. So let me say it again. The banks did not loan you any money. So let's go ahead and prove what's going on. And again, we don't have to prove this in court. We just have to bring it up. Let them disprove it. Stop going in there trying to explain everything. You don't have to explain nothing. Say, hold on. Hey, judge, shut up. I'm talking. Th that's all you got to do. Say, I'm talking. This is my turn. This is a Truth and Lending Act statement, everybody. Federal Truth and Lending Act disclosure. Federal. So that means that your loan is a federal loan. Why? Because a HUD-1 form is associated with it. You want to take your case to federal court? That's how you do it. Document that this is a federal matter. Because of its direct association to HUD. HUD. Housing Urban Development is part of the Department of Agriculture. And that the bank is part of the Federal Reserve. Being one and the same. It's a federal loan. Sorry. Pay attention. Annual percentage rate. The cost of your credit. The dollar amount of the credit will cost you. The amount of credit provided to you. Then the very next set of statements is all about credit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the statement I got offline. Okay? That's why it's listed the way it is. I just pulled it offline. That's why it's one, two, three, your street. Man, I ain't never been to your street. Man, come on over to my street. Come on over to my place. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, come and go with me for a second. Leave Teddy alone. Come and go with me. Credit life, credit disability, credit life, credit disability. You are receiving credit. Now, wait, I was told the banks can't lend their own credit. Not quite so that they can't lend their own credit. So let me tell you what they can't do so that you all will be aware of it. Highlight. Man, there's a highlight right there states that the letter of credit because that's what that is ladies and gentlemen the truth and lending act statement is a letter of credit pay attention it's a letter of credit saying they're loaning you credit i apologize is conspicuous so entitled it is entitled doesn't it say it's a letter of credit wait hold on let's make sure it says letter of credit Truth in Lending Act disclosure statement. They're disclosing to you what you're being loaned. And they say the credit that you're receiving, the annual percentage rate for the credit that you're receiving, the financial rate for the credit that you're receiving, the amount of credit provided to you. Conspicuous, ain't it? Sorry. Just in case some of you are not getting it. Pay attention. Moreover, it seems clear that the guarantee can be a letter of credit or vice versa for cold drafters deemed unnecessary to expressly exclude guarantees in the scope of Article 5 unless the engagement meets the requirements specified above. Section 5-102 emphasizes, emphasis added, sorry, as long as the credit is in writing and is signed by the issuer, no particular form is required and no consideration is necessary to support the issuance of credit. There doesn't need to be value in consideration when we have credit. So let's make sure that the issuer signs the letter of credit. You guys want to see who the issuer is? Hold on! Hold on! Issuer! Prepared by title, date. Aww. Uh, and, and, and hold on. And look, let's make sure it's an agreement. You sign it too. This is your letter of credit, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> okay, hold on. Designates those costs to be paid by seller of the property. But the seller is not doing it, ladies and gentlemen. The bank is. 
that's who's lending you the credit. And here's the proof that it's a federal issue because here is your, stop it, stop it, I, I stop, stop it! Sorry, apologize. These estimates are provided pursuant to the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act or RISPA. Additional information can be found in HUD Special Information Booklet, which is to be provided to you by your mortgage broker or lender. If your application is to purchase residential real property, the, and the lender will take the first lien on the property. The undersigned acknowledges receipt of the booklet, settlement costs, and the consumer's handbook, ARM mortgages, if applicable. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the nutshell of what's going on. You can challenge all of this by documenting the fact that they loaned you credit. They did not loan you money. Now, can banks lend their own credit? We don't care. What we care about, if the banks have the authority and statutory permission to lend its credit, then you have the statutory authority under equal protection of law to pay them back in credit. Why? As a member of the state, your sovereign state, you are a member of the public, a member of the common community. And the common collective community is known as the sovereign people. That's correct. Not you being the sovereign people, but the collective community from which the full faith and credit of the state is derived. The full faith and credit of the state is derived from the sovereignty, which is in the people, a collective group. By being a member of that collective group, you are a beneficiary of the public trust. That's why you put idiots in office so that you, as a beneficiary of the public trust, can benefit from that arrangement. So as a beneficiary, why can't you use your part of the full faith and credit to pay them back? So, some of you are going to understand how you can use this to challenge the stupidity that is going on. That is known as the banking institutions trying to take your property. As long as they loaned you credit, there is nothing in your agreement that says you're going to pay them back cash. Why? Because your part of the full faith and credit is considered lawful money in the United States. You don't have to prove it. You just have to demand that they prove that you can't lend your credit back or that you can't pay the bank back with your credit and receive on their part back from the treasury the lawful monies associated with you lending the bank back the credit. See, you can pay. If the bank can lend you credit, you should be able to pay them back with credit. Hold on. The courts would say, no, you can't do that. Well, show me the statute that says I can't do that. Show me in our agreement where I agreed that I couldn't do that. Unless you can show me where our agreement prohibits that, then I just need you to shut up, Your Honor because you're talking out the side of your neck and you're not allowed to talk out the side of your neck in my case because this is a public matter. The public is here. You're not allowed to lie on the record. You're not allowed to do no presumptive stupidity in front of me either. And then you just challenge the presumption, the presumption, the presumption of their so-called prima facie statutes. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a document where we do the constitutional challenges all of you should be downloading that document and putting it according to your situation. Give me a second, okay? Then we're going to bring this to a close. The first thing we're going to do is I put in SACOM 911 forward slash PDFs in all capital letters. That brings us to this directory. Hold on. One more again. Okay, many of you want to find the challenge document. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this list. You're going to go all the way down to number one. Number one, it says a legal understanding. You're going to click on a legal understanding. And right here, petition challenging. This is a petition challenging the jurisdiction, the right to challenge the statute. There are two of them here. Okay, take a look at each of them. They're both pretty much the same thing, but take a look at them anyway! Sorry, a lot of people are asking me for this document. And so this is how you get to the document. It's under a legal understanding, under the PDFs. And ladies and gentlemen, it's right here. The QWR is there. 
standing before even these so-called sample for appealing to the appeals court and then we're going to give you the appeal brief that i'm working on right now for the last person i'm doing an appeal for and as of this last person i'm not helping none of you with any more documents if you're going through court and you're suffering i'm sorry go to this website download the templates and do the best you can i don't have time it's too stressful too much work working on these appeals too much work i'm not doing it no more sorry it is really causing me a great deal of stress worrying about everybody else and every single time i help somebody with their pay attention junk they end up not following my instructions and i end up having to make up for them not following my instructions but i'm gonna follow your instructions i'm gonna do exactly what you shut up oh, excuse me they all say the same thing every single time they say the same thing and then they don't do what I asked them to do so I'm tired everyone you know it's one of those enough so that's that document getting back to your mortgages ladies and gentlemen the banks loaned you credit Pay attention to this so that all of you get it. You need to download proof that your bank is part of a mortgage-backed security. How do you find out if your bank is a part of a mortgage-backed security? You call the bank and ask them, is my loan part of a mortgage-backed security? And which batch is it a part of? How do I get that information? Well, you need to write us a request. Okay, can you give me the address that I need to write that request? I'm going to do it in the form of a qualified written request. If that's okay, I'm going to call it a qualified written request. And you call it a qualified written request. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your mortgage. You are a part of that agreement. They are taking your mortgage and trading it on the market. See, they don't need to trade it on the market in order for investors to receive part of the payment but they are trading it on the market you feel me well if they're trading it on the market where are you benefiting from this trade because you're part of the mortgage wait a minute hold on they're collecting interest payments on the trade on the market and then they're charging you monthly for the mortgage and you don't get no benefit ladies and gentlemen you own nike and all of a sudden you see that your competitor is selling this other brand called spikies and what the how are you gonna be selling spikies when i own nikes and it looks just like my nikes you don't have the right to sell my product what the and you sue the person and they have to pay you all the monies they receive plus they have to pay you penalties well ladies and gentlemen the banks are not allowed to trade your property on the market without giving you consideration and the value for that trade. <sighs> you signed the agreement allowing them to do it, so stop letting them do it. Start now saying, wait a minute, you can't do that. Where is my dividends? You, I have the right of offset, Your Honor. I have the right of offset. If they made property off of my loan, then I have the right to receive dividends. I has that right, Your Honor. And I want to exercise my right. That's what I want to do, Your Honor. Sorry. I have one of those bohemian flies in my house, and I have to let him out. Okay. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this 15-minute video is enough to get you started on the arguments you need to be bringing up in court. Um, ladies and gentlemen, one final thing. If you call me and I answer the phone like I've done all day today, even though this is my busiest day, Wednesdays, and I tell you I have to go, and you say one more question, and I give you that one more question, and you say, okay, one more thing, and I give you that answer, and then you'll say one more thing, you're only going to cause me to be upset. And I'm going to talk about your mama, your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your cousins, your nieces. I don't care if you get your feelings hurt. When I say I got to go, understand I got to go. Your business is not more important than mine. So stop it. Just that simple. Hey, I got to go. Take care of yourselves, people.